was thrown in for your enjoyment. Now, when I first took this job, they told me I needed three things. Fast reflexes, a pretty big stick, and a very low IQ. <laughs> when I asked what IQ meant, they said, forget the stick, which is fine. It just takes a hand from me anyways. Now, one of the first things I want to show you guys is how the alligator's eyes and jaws work. The eyes are set up on top of the skull, allowing the animal to see side to side, up and down, creating two blind spots. One directly behind the alligator, and one directly in front. To show you the blind spot in front, the first thing I'm going to do is tap this animal on the nose. The reason I tap it on the nose, this aggravates most animals into opening their mouths. If you don't believe me, turn to the person next to you and tap them on their nose. Guaranteed somebody opens their mouth. Now once the alligator's mouth is open, it causes me to do stupid things. Like, when he's sitting still, things like inserting my hand. Now I'll do that one more time just in case anybody missed their photo. <laughs> Supposed to have five, right? Alright, just making sure. Now the alligator's jaws work kind of like a rat trap. As long as nothing touches, that trap stays open. When something touches, that trap slams shut. That's also how I trim my fingernails out in the Everglades. Now the alligator has one of the world's strongest sets of jaws. Able to slam their mouth shut with about 3,000 pounds of crushing power per square inch. Do that one more time. Now if you'd like to capture an alligator, there's two ways you can go about doing so. The first of which is made famous by Steve Irwin, the crocodile hunter, who would use the blind spot behind the alligator to get very close. From here, he'd look up into the camera and yell, Croy, King Mike, she's a beauty! As he and 20 other people would then jump on the back of the alligator. I have one problem with that capture technique. I don't have 20 people. Any volunteers? Yeah. Over 18, buddy. <laughs> I didn't think so. So I use a different capture technique. It's called the frontal catch. Using the same blind spot I used to put my hand in the mouth, I now go under, lifting the head up and taking a hold with two hands. Now this next part is very important for the gentleman in the crowd. You always hold the alligator like this. Never like this, for obvious reasons. Now from here, you step over the back of the alligator and have a seat at the base of the tail. Once seated, you've got yourself a captured alligator. But if you want to bring it home alive and safely, you've got to find a way to secure the jaws. That's where my next stunt comes in. It's called bulldogging the alligator, putting his jaws between my chin and my chest, done like so.
for the next couple of stunts I'm going to show you guys have absolutely nothing to do with capturing an alligator. They were invented for one purpose and one purpose only, to increase the amount of tips the alligator wrestler would receive at the end of their show. This is the part of the show where I inform you guys that I am in no way funded by the Jungle Queen thanks to lawyers and lawsuits. The way I get paid is the money you guys throw in the baskets located along the pit, half of which goes to me, the other half to the alligators. Now this next stunt is a pretty famous stunt. It's called the Florida Smile. Problem is, it can only be performed one time. So if you'd like a photo, Focus your cameras now and take your picture on the count of three. One, two, three. <laughs> now, of course, I'm joking. The real Florida smile comes from the alligator, getting him to open up his mouth, showing all 80 teeth. 40 on top, 40 on bottom. If you look at the back of this animal's mouth, it appears that he has no throat opening. That's because he has an oversized palatal valve, or a glottis, which allows him to bite things underwater without drowning. But he must surface to swallow his food. Now this next stunt is a pretty crazy stunt. It's called the face off. Because if I mess up, my face <laughs> will come off. With this rain, I don't know how long it's gonna last. Have your cameras ready. Once again, those baskets located.